This was the week where former yeah. President Donald Trump made. Well, wait a minute. <laughs> I look, I'm not mainstream media. I can do this. I'm not Trump obsessed, but I, I knew you were coming on and we, this is vaccine related. Uh, okay. Donald Trump made a, uh, a, uh, you know, made his boundless fragility once again, painfully obvious by issuing a statement on official Donald J. Trump letterhead, reminding Americans to give him credit for Biden's vaccine rollout. <laughs> writing and my god anthony can i implore you to read this for you i'll do it all right here okay. we go <laughs> from the office of donald j trump march 10th 2021 this is a statement by donald j trump 45th president of the united states of america i hope everyone remembers when they're getting the covid 19 often referred to as the China virus vaccine, that if I wasn't president, you wouldn't be getting that beautiful shot for five years at best, at best, and probably wouldn't be getting it at all. I hope everyone remembers. I hope, remember me. Hello. I'm down here in mar <laughs> It was such a petty grandmother note. It was such a note from your grandma when like you didn't send her a thank you card for a gift. <laughs> he is that's I mean, I don't want to upset, but that's my favorite thing is is that he is just an old Jewish woman. That's all he is. Oh, that is <laughs> I'm Jewish. That's a that. that's a slight to all old Jewish women. But yeah, but a, yeah. but one right, there's always something wrong and you're not giving him credit for something. And he knows better, even though he probably doesn't. But I definitely would trust, trust a gr Jewish grandmother over <laughs> oh, yeah. Trump. I mean, he, it's just petty. I mean, it's just I, it's it, well, to me, it was. Yes. And I and I totally led you into a sand trap of your own uh, making uh, by making you do that again, even though we know we shouldn't be so obsessed. But it was like it's so funny that like, where do you put out statements these days? Like he's banned from Twitter. He yeah. only has 280 characters worth of things to say because that was exactly right. 280 characters, which he yeah. managed to shoehorn in some some racism. Just yes. make sure you make, make sure, sure everyone knows. He, he also coined China virus. Like, I'm surprised yeah. he didn't also say, which I coined. Which I came up with. Yeah, <laughs> of course. Yeah, but I mean, that, but that's the thing that's, um, that's, uh, uh, listen, you can cut off his Twitter and cut off all those things. And it's interesting. I've gone back and forth for a long time. I advocated he should be removed while president. He should be removed from Twitter because of the dangers of incitement and things he can do. So yes. I had that. I did have that point of view. I also have this concern of the, you know, not that this is a direct mapping, but, you know, you think of the beer you know, the beer hall riots and, and, and how uh, Hitler gets jailed and he's sort of just off the map for a couple of years. Um, and I get very concerned about what happens when this cultivates in the quiet like this and, and what, and, and, you know, whether it's him or whether what I think is worse is he at least had no agenda. He didn't have an agenda. He had no, he had, there was no conviction with him. He just yeah. was saying and doing whatever. So um, this, this thing makes me more concerned about who comes up that has an agenda that also sounds like him. But more importantly, in the again, this connects to my bitching, which is that the idea that there's even a question about it, it, again, this is not about Biden's handling of things as much as it is. The, there is no warp speed was a totally useless it was it was yeah. not even a program. It was lip service. There was no yes. vaccine plan. The plan was to let the states deal with it. The man ignored the thing for a year, held mm -hmm. multiple rallies, flew around. He has his followers and supporters. It's politically divisive to wear a mask or not. Um, mm -hmm. And they seized hold of real issues that people do struggle with. I don't want to stop seeing people's faces. I don't want to stay in my home for the real things that real I people need to are. work. I need to work. I need to make money. And to take all of that and and for the for the press to cover it as if the, he did to, to let they now have to lend legitimacy to his presidency or else their own necks are on the line. It's just absurdity. And the other yeah. absurdity is the fixation um, in a way this 
thing is going to get mitigated. People are going to get the vaccine. Eventually, it will distribute around the world in a terrible way. Does the Howard Johnson, I call it the Howard Johnson's virus, the Johnson and Johnson virus, because it's only 64 percent <laughs> effective. But uh, but like it is really um, uh, uh, it. Of course, he's going to try. He's going to get things out and people are going to lap it up. And it's almost going to make it actually more important when he speaks. It will become more uh, of, a, of an event because yeah. he is not uh, uh, diarying all over Twitter all the time. But there's yeah. plenty of other. I mean, Glenn Greenwald's done a great job picking up where he left off. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Hats off to all the <laughs> fake leftists out there and grifters. Uh, my condolences if you still are on that train. Um, I, yes, I, thanking Trump for getting the vaccine rollout started is like thanking the police for Black Lives Matter. Uh, it's like thanking Harvey Weinstein for Me Too, right? It's like, oh, my God, like without without me, eh, you wouldn't have. Yeah, like it's. And 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 I will say the only thing that that warp speed apparently did because like the media has also been like well actually warp speed okay the CVS and Walgreens partnerships with nursing homes apparently that happened but like at every point in turn Alex Azar which was like the head of human health services again completely unqualified yeah. was like we'll have a hundred million doses by the end of 2020 and it was 40 million doses and then it yeah. was 20 million doses and it just kept on like Going they down. met no benchmark whereas Biden yeah has met all of the benchmarks and then some yes. um yeah, but anyway. they learned that you can lie. You can lie right. about everything. You can lie about the war ending. You can lie. And and what it's proven, and it's astonishing, it's proven that this whole thing is a fucking fiction. The whole setup, the country ran for four years without anyone running it, basically. And, and what you realize is the bureaucracy is actually the thing that drives the engine of the country and people's desire for mm. uh, consumption. And never oh, underestimate people's desire for to consume and to be left alone. Those are the two biggest things that people want to do. They want to watch something, eat something, be left alone, have money in their pocket. That's what everyone wants. Nobody really wants anything else. Th anything else is aspirational. And, um, mm. and we have not gotten that yet. And, and here's the thing. You can lie for four fucking years, 10 years. And I wanted to say one other thing that you said about the partnership. And this happens on the left as well. Everyone is arguing within the world of Reagan. Everybody argues within Reagan. Everyone argues within Ronald Reagan's uh, uh, dynamic. Because think about GoFundMes, all the things that we have now or the ways in which people even shame, well, you have money and you should be putting it here. All yeah. of that, to me, is living in Reagan's economic shadow, which is that what yeah. we should be advocating is I don't have to advocate for someone who has $10 million to do the right thing. I shouldn't need to do that. What should happen is that government should be appropriately taxing people at different rates to create a pool of money so that people are supported. That's the whole point of government. The whole point of government is so I don't have to fucking think about it. And I'm right. still a good person because I paid my tax, gave some money. And that's right, exactly. It. Okay. Exactly. I don't have to constantly. No, that's so true. I mean, that's it's in it's in essence what I think kind of the worst parts of the real Twitter cancel culture are it's like, we're stepping in because there's no justice in the actual criminal justice system. Right. And like GoFundMes are, and, and like donating and lifting up the nonprofit industrial complex is also what happens when like our tax rate is totally out of whack exactly. and the social system has been completely fucking hollowed out by right. billionaires who run the government. It's like, it actually could be way better in the, than this. And it has nothing to do with socialism. Sadly, even though we want to get there. Have you become a patron yet? Patreon.com slash Bituation Room is where you can directly support this show and help me make it sustainable so that I can do more of what I do best doing this.